Welcome to our Air Day Sling 3 and our Air Day Sling 3 Max review. About a year ago, we reviewed this guy, which is the Air Day Sling 2, and we loved it. So now we're gonna see if the 3 and the 3 Max can, you know, hold a candle. Is it gonna, are these gonna be as awesome as this? Spoiler alert, yes and no. There's a lot of things about the Air Day Sling 3s that I like over the 2. But there's a couple things I don't like. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what those things are in this review. Let's jump into it. All right, so before we compare and contrast with this guy, let's talk about the gists of these guys. We got two slings, the regular, which is a three liter, and the max, which is a six liter. And excluding the size and some super minor design differences, these guys are basically the exact same sling. A three liter sling is great for everyday carry if you don't have a lot of stuff no tablet, no water bottle. Think of it sort of as a pocket reliever. It's great for your wallet, phone, maybe a small notebook, pen, keys, and you call it a day. We'll show you exactly what both slings look like when they're packed out at the end of the review. Now for the six liter though, this guy's bigger. Let's see, you know, this is a, this is a larger sling. It, it's almost like a small brief messenger fuse with a sling. Look at that, this guy's beefy. Both slings feature Air's signature badass top-notch materials, starting with Cordura Ballistic Nylon on the outside, which is very smooth to the touch, yet it's extremely rugged and weather resistant. YKK PU coated zippers, Fidlock magnets. I love Fidlock magnets. We'll talk about this in the next section, the outside of the sling. We got a lot of organization on the inside without being overkill. Some really nice and upgraded materials compared to the Air Day Sling 2. And both slings have hidden back pockets. These are ideal for things that you want a little bit more security for. I like to put my wallet in these pockets, maybe your cell phone, things that you just don't want to get stolen. Okay, so let's start with the outside of the Air Day Sling 3 and the Air Day Sling 3 Max, and I'll compare and contrast it to the Air Day Sling 2. First thing is the material, like I said, Cordura Ballistic Nylon. It gives it a really urban look. It's really robust. And if you do want to take this on a little hike through the mountains and you get a little bit of rain or whatever it might be, like this will definitely be durable and it's going to stand the test of time. I mean, as you can see, our videographer Tab has been carrying the Air Day Sling 2 around basically every day for the past year plus, and it looks brand spanking new. From there, let's talk about the quick access pocket in the front. On both versions of the sling, this pocket is protected with a YKK PU coated zipper. PU coated stands for polyurethane. I, I can never pronounce that word, but it basically means it's extremely weather resistant. But with that weather resistance, it makes it a little more tougher to pull, right? It's got a little stickiness to it, so something to keep in mind. But to help with that, Air has these little tabs right here on either side. And these tabs just make it easier to sort of grip the sling and to open and to close this particular section. Small touch, but it goes a long way. Now let's talk about one of the first upgrades from the two to the three, and I'll compare the four to the five, is the size of this front pocket and the organization. So on the original, you can see that this pocket in the front was beefy. How beefy? You could literally fit a water bottle in it, beefy. Notice though in the new one, this water bottle, it ain't, it ain't fitting in there. And in the old version, we had two pockets in this section. New version, no pockets, but they added the key ring holder here. All of this to me is an upgrade. And as I use the Air Day Sling 2, I never even use these pockets because just like the build of this made it sort of difficult to access, to organize things. I want my front area to be just sort of a throw all, right? A quick little access spot, phone, wallet, keys. I don't need pockets. I don't need to organize it. I love what Air did with that section. And same thing with the six liter, no pockets, key ring, not as bulky, good design choice. All right, now let's swing over to the back. And on the back section, we can find the two things that I'm not crazy about with the three versus the two version. Let me show you. Thing number one is on the two and the three, we have these little loops right here, right? Now these are ideal for hanging your sling, but they're also just kind of nice to have as like an extra carrying point just to access your sling in a different way. And I think that I like the old version more than I like the new version. When I was using this sling and when Tav was using this sling, we don't just use it to hang it up. Like I actually kind of like to hold it with this. There was a comfort sort of with this. I just kind of liked this. It was interesting. It's a little quirky. It was unique. 
And it's not the end of the world, but I would have liked to have seen this loop on the newer version as well. And then from there, we'll talk about the second upgrade that to me isn't really an upgrade, and that is the positioning and the design of the nylon strap. So here you can see with the Air Day Sling 3 Max and the Air Day Sling 3, how, to, how it sort of just goes from here to here like that. But let's compare it with the Air Day Sling 2. Can you see the difference? Margaret, can you see the difference? <laughs> Let me explain then. So basically with the Air Day Sling 3, you can see that the straps come out on these sides sort of on an angle. Right, you see that? The little, the and the But in the Air Day Sling 2, you've got one strap coming out of the side right here, sort of horizontally, and one coming directly at the top, very vertically. Now this seems like a bizarre sort of a getup, but it works so well for comfort. And it was the only sling that I had ever seen like this and I loved it. With the way this is designed with the Air Day Sling 2, it fits your body perfectly on the front and on the back. And while the design of the three still fits quite well, I just like this design slightly more. It just felt like it hugged my body in a different way as to where this one's just a little bit more loose. It's coming out a little bit more. It's not quite the oomph that the two version was. All right, from there, let's talk about the nylon strap. This nylon, I'm not too crazy about. I also prefer the old version of the Air Day Sling 2. You can see it's sort of smoother and shinier, has a bit more of a premium look, but this nylon still gets the job done. But let's talk about an upgrade right here. The two had a buckle. Don't get me wrong, buckles are tight, but you know what's tighter? Magnets, Fidlock. Ooh. Magnets and slings and magnets and backpacks go together like tacos and tequila. And Fidlock makes the best <laughs> magnets in the world. This is great for ease of use, right? You got your sling, you wanna take it off. Oh, it's just so simple. It's just so easy. You don't have to like fiddle around with the buckle. Just that, done. And because the magnet is strong, it clips back into place. I love it. You can adjust the strap right here. Pretty easy adjustment process. And yeah, overall, pretty good. Next up, you can see right here, we've got a newly added handle. Now on the six liter, this handle is a little bit beefier. Got a little extra padding, a little bit more of a premium look, and that makes sense. This could be a little bit heavier. You got more gear in there. You can go into sort of like briefcase mode if you need to. And on the three liter, it's a little bit less comfy and bulky and premium, just sort of this little band right there. But yet again, if you just wanna hold it like that, it gets the job done. So while I don't think that the six or the three are going to be like briefcase solutions, it's just nice to be able to carry them in that way. And finally on the outside, we've got the secret back pockets. These are pockets where I like to personally keep my more valuable belongings, mainly wallet and cell phone. So the reason is it's pressed against my torso, I feel safe, no one's fiddling with it. And yet, it's still super easy to access. I'm like, whoa, cool, Ch -ch -ch snap a photo, pop it back in there, zipper up, all with my day. And real fast, if you're enjoying this review because you like slings, messengers, backpacks, travel gear, all that good stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified anytime that we publish a new epic review. Back to the review. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get inside the Air Day 3 slings and see what all the hype's about. Now we can get in the inside or the main compartment with these two air zips right here. These are their branded zips. They're really good for pulling. Obviously they're not as good as like this. It should be noted that we just added these on, these sort of custom um, zipper heads. But air zips, they get the job done. They can be a little, little dangly, right? You get a little jingle going on. But what's nice about them is that they can sort of interlock. It's not going to, you know, it's not like an ironclad vault, you know, but it will help to deter a thief. It also should be noted that this zipper right here is the only waterproof zip on the entire sling. These guys are not waterproof, but that makes the opening experience super lightning fast. And now we're in. The interior of the two is an enormous upgrade over the interior of the three. I mean, just look at it. You've got this like grayish steel blue color in the background with these really nice black pockets, nice stitching versus the old one, which is just like, I don't know, it looks like, this looks cheap to me. And this is one criticism I've had about Air for a long time. They deck out the outside of their bags and sort of skimp on the materials on the inside. And that's fine, more power to them. I think it's in line with their pricing. But over time, they've been upgrading their interior materials. I'm so freaking stoked about it. Because this is great. This looks like a pocket, but it's not. 
We've got one, two, three, four mesh pockets. These are really stretchy and have a nice elasticity to them. I love mesh that has that little bit of elasticity. So it just can sort of expand and de-expand uh, depending on the gear that you have in those respective pockets. And then above these pockets, we got a zip pocket right here. Yet again, YKK, right? Always with the YKK when it comes to air. Now, this pocket on the Air Day Sling 2 is where the keychain was originally put, the keychain holder. Um, but now it's not here, which I think is also an upgrade because before grabbing my keys would have been a two move. One, two, three. There's like a third move in there. As opposed to this guy where you can just grab your keys, first take right there, ba boom. So for the Air Day Sling 3, good spot for maybe one of those small moleskins. And for the Air Day Sling 3 Max, you can fit up to an 11 inch iPad in this compartment. It's, it's beefy, it's bigger than it looks. All right, now for our favorite game, we're gonna do an episode of What Can It Fit? Let's start with the Air Day Sling 3 Regular. Okay, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see what fits. Start with my keys on the outside. Got some sunglasses in a hard shell case. Also that fit in the outside. It will. I'll put my phone in the backup section. The wallet, maybe extra safe in here. These pockets, backup mask, charging wire, battery. Are you gonna fit? Yeah, all right. All right, let's see if it closes with all that. We got a decent amount of stuff. Margaret, you think it's gonna close? Yes. Of course it's gonna close. Wow, let's see how it feels. Ooh, okay. How does it look? Is it a little, little, little bulky? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so pretty impressive amount. That's the three liter, remember? Now let's take a look at what the six liter can fit. All right, now for the max, I've got basically all the same stuff, but I got a water bottle, tote, book, and some tape measure, because you never know when you need some tape measure. I bring tape measure everywhere. You don't? That's weird. Let's fill it up. Water bottle first, nice and bulky. That's good. Let's see, put that there. My tote right there, headphones, battery, backup mask. Should take that out for now. Put a book in there, wallet, phone in the back, some backup hand sanitizer, my measure tape, and then will the water bottle fit on top? Margaret, what do you think? <laughs> oh, but we're both, I thought no as well, but it's absolutely going to close with a bit of room to spare. Wow, that is a beefy sling. And let's feel it. It feels like it's gonna be heavy. Oh, yeah, it's just not too bad. Feels comfy, still easy to access. My phone in the back, even though it's kind of tight. Wow, I'm impressed by how much this can fit. The water bottle and the tape measure. All right, pros and cons of the Air Day Sling 3 and the Air Day Sling 3 Max. Pro number one is Air just simply makes some of the best slings and backpacks, but we're just talking about slings right now, on the market. These things for the price are just top notch. Pro number two is going to be the Fidlock magnetic system on the shoulder strap. And pro number three is a main compartment that has minimalist vibes, but still has plenty of organization at the same time. But cons, let's talk about them. Con number one is while these slings are comfortable, I found the Air Day Sling 2 to be more comfortable. The design of sort of vertical strap and horizontal strap versus like these two coming in at an angle, they're both really nice, but I just found this version to be a little bit more snug and a little bit more comfortable. And con number two is that there's only one weatherproof zip, this guy right here. So if you're looking for a super, super, super weatherproof, water resistant sling, there's probably better options. So if you're thinking to yourself, dude, love that sling. I want to buy me one. We do ask that you use the first link in the description, just right down there. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support our Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you so much. But let's say you're not quite sold. You want a sling. You're just not sure if you want one of these slings. Let me give you some alternative recommendations. Alternative recommendation number one. Let's say that you're thinking to yourself, dude, love these slings, love the urban vibes, but I wish that it was just a bit more water resistant. In that case, I say check out the modern Dayfarer Active Sling. 
It's super urban, super trendy, but because of the top opening system or that opening flap, it just makes it significantly more water resistant. If you're interested in learning more about the modern day Ferris sling, take a look in the description. And you'll find a link to our full review. Now, my next alternative recommendation is if you're like, dude, love the air look, but the max too big. And the regular, I'm also thinking maybe just too big because I don't really carry that much stuff. I just got a couple of things and I could use a smaller sling. Worry not. For you, I recommend checking out the Air City Sling 2. Super similar vibes to the Day Sling 3. Just a little bit smaller at 1.5 liters. Just as awesome. To see our full review, take a look in the description below. Finally, my third alternative recommendation is if you're like, dude, loving the city vibes, but if only there was an urban sling that offered a bit more protection for my gear. There is, it's called the Nomadic Slings. These slings are hard shell slings, which gives you that little bit of extra protection, especially if you carry a lot of tech gear around. And they're equally as cool, trendy looking, urban. They're really awesome. To learn more about the Nomadic Slings, take a look in the description below to find a link to our full reviews. If you enjoyed our Air Day Slings 3 review, then the best way to show just a little bit of love is to hit that like button and subscribe. That way you'll be notified anytime we come out with a new gear review. And it also lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job. Also, let us know in the comments below, do you have any Air Slings? Do you think that the threes are an upgrade over the two? And please, do you know why they went from this cool, snug, awesome design to, to this? also cool but maybe a little less cool less snug design i'd love to hear your comments below that's it for today guys i'm aaron this is nomads nation we'll catch you next time